Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Lone Star Diecast. Sorry for the lack of uploads. But today I got a special surprise. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Fast and Furious 2023 Wave 3. Let's get into the video. So as you guys can see, this is the third mix of the Fast and Furious set for 2023 Mix 3. I was at Walmart earlier today and I managed to unexpectedly find this set. Fresh set on the pegs too. Very excited to see this. I'm actually excited for the first two cars out of the mix. So as you can see, there's two repeats in here and there's two new models. So let's get into the review. All right, guys, starting off here, car number one out of five is the brand new Acura Integra Sedan GSR or custom Acura Integra Sedan GSR. Very, very nice, well done gasting. Very good stance on it. Got the small chrome six spokes. Some people complain that the lights or the back of the car is not really that good. I think it's good. Sport looks good. Everything looks clean about this car. Clean lines, clean detail. Got the Fast and Furious deck on the side. Really nice. I hope we see more of this car in the future, and I'm pretty sure we will. This casting is a brand new casting for 2023. Very nice. I'm excited to see more versions of it. All right, so the next car out of the set, this is car number two out of five. This is also a new casting. It's the brand new 1997 Nissan Maxima sedan. This is also a new casting. It's kind of strange. As you guys can see, normally the new castings would be towards the end of the series, like the last few cars of the line, but it's not. You can see, you got their full premium details on it. Gray, modern five-spoke riders, Fast and Furious deck on the side, brand new casting. And this isn't the only new Nissan Maxima we have this year because we also had it in the JDM Diorama set, which this one is my favorite Maxima. Did an amazing job. I hope we see new versions of both these castings pretty soon. So the third car of the set is a repeat. It is the BMW M3 E46. Now, this casting debuted in the uh, it debuted in the 2020 Fast and Furious Euro Racers, which at first was really popular. That BMW was the first thing gone off the pegs, and now it's just kind of a peg warmer because really it's been reused over and over again. Lots of releases of this casting, including two RLC releases with the opening hood version. Here's the first model from 2020 when it debuted. Then it came out in Dutchland design in this magnificent blue color. Also came out as a saloon convention car in Mexico. And then we saw it again in Auto Strasse in red. Very, very nice color on this one. This is probably my favorite color of this one. And then I swapped the wheels off of one of the white BMWs to put black on there. It looks good. 
Also was in a team transport set as well as a BMW diorama set, which I felt too lazy to bring them out. And here's my custom premium chase version of it. Hot Wheels, if you're listening, please make a BMW set with that being the chase. So there is the BMW. All right, guys, next up, car number four out of five, another repeat. This isn't a new casting. This is the custom Mustang GT, aka the Shelby GT350R. It debuted in premium in the Fast and Furious mix of late 2021. Exact same thing as the last one from 2021. It's not a new casting. It's been mainline since 2016. So there is the Mustang. So last car of the mix, number five out of five, is the Alfa Romeo Aguila Sprint GTA. I used to not like this casting a lot. And ever since, and now since they put it in the Spedicolar set, it looks good. Orange with black stripes, very clean, looks more detailed. They've been killing it with the details on this casting lately, and that's why I like it a lot. Here's the Spedicolar release of it. Also very clean. Stay tuned because I will make a video on Spedicolar soon. I'm impressed with how much detail I was doing. I might start collecting this casting. So there is the Alfa Romeo. Don't know what movie part of the movie it's in, but I know it's in Fast and Furious, so... Uh, there's the whole set. Now it is time to pick my favorite car of the set. And my favorite car out of the set is... They're all really good, but I would say it's the Integra Type R sedan. I'm just impressed with the amount of details this thing has. It's, it's just clean. It looks good. Smooth looking. Stance. Everything about it's really good. So that's going to conclude for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this set. Have you found it? And what is your favorite model? And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.